In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to embed a Google Calendar on your website. Uh, pretty common request, very easy to do uh, using the insert HTML code uh, tools that we provide. You can embed just about anything. Uh, to make it even better, Google makes it super easy by providing that code for you. Um, so the first things first is I will go to my editor when I'm logged into my page and I'm going to create a page that I'm going to place this calendar on. You can place it anywhere you like. I choose to put my calendar on some sort of events page or calendar page and I'll create that now. In fact, I'm just going to name it events, copy my about page and I will edit this accordingly. I don't need this text here. You can see that it's been added to my menu as usual as any new page would be um, and I'm going to just call this events. Uh, save the page and this page is ready to go. Now I'm going to go to Google and I'm already logged into my account which is key because you know, you're know you going to be sharing your specific calendars. So you want to be logged into your Google account um, and then you can see my calendars here on the left hand side. You're going to share these individually. What I'm seeing here is a conglomerate or basically all of my calendars and all the different uh, events that I have for all my calendars. But in terms of sharing it on a website, you're really only going to share one at a time because um, you would want to make sure that anything that you're providing on your website isn't necessarily your personal stuff. Maybe it's just the stuff for a specific uh, group of people or a, you know the business stuff that you want people to see. Um, you need to make that determination on what kind of information you want to share on your website, but uh, that's why you're going to share them individually. In this case, I'm just going to share my calendar and I'm going to go to calendar settings to do that. And that's really all you have to do. You can change the calendar settings, change the name, etc. But here's the important part, embed this calendar. And here's the code that it provides. It's just an iframe. I'm going to highlight, control C to copy that text. And then I'm going to go to my events page and I'm going to click insert HTML code, control or right click and then paste to paste the code click OK and that's it like any other element on web starts you can resize click to drag anywhere you like uh, I'm gonna just resize this so my padding is as I want it to be I'll need to resize my the body section of my page um, to make sure that it looks good as well and then I'll save it view the site and that's it. You can see that the calendar is embedded on my website. Everything else is uh, looks good. And you can see that my events are here. Now, one thing that people miss after this part, they see this and they say, hey, all oh, this is great. I got my calendar on my website. However, I'm logged into my Google account. I'm seeing these events because I'm logged in there and, and, and it doesn't matter whether or not, whether or not I have this, this calendar set to, to be viewable by the public um, because I'm gonna see it because I'm logged into this account in this browser. Now, let's see what this looks like in another browser. I'm editing in Firefox. I'm going to open this up in Chrome and see what it looks like. And boom, you can see that this error shows so one or more of the events cannot be shown because of the uh, permission settings. Um, no big deal. This is a part that a lot of people miss, so I want, I want to make sure that I cover that. If you go into, that's my shopping cart, if you go into the calendar, back to where we were, and just click on share this calendar, I'll show you how to get there from your main calendar view as well because you may not already be in here. Um, just click this drop down, click on share this calendar for the one that you're working on, and then simply just click make this calendar public. And then click save. And it says, yeah, you sure you want to? Of course I want to. Um, nothing changes, of course, in my view. I still have my events here. Now, when I go down here and grab this window that I have open with that page in Chrome, uh, you can still see that it says events are uh, are not able to be seen because of permissions but when I refresh you can see that I can see that now um, the reason being is because I made it public so now anybody regardless if they're logged into that account or not can see these events uh, you can click on it you can get more details uh, and it'll provide details for that event now that I didn't put a whole lot of details in those events but if there was uh, location time it ended any other information you could certainly have that in fact you can add a notification here if you'd like so uh, pretty cool you can put just about any calendar from Google on there uh, multiple calendars if you like and that's about it it's actually really easy to do 
uh, really handy and really uh, helpful when you're trying to display events on your website from your Google Calendar. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to let us know and we would be happy to help out. Thanks a lot.